Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video with the electrical guide. Today, I want to show you how to bend PVC pipe. I have here a three quarter piece, and I think probably a 90 is the most common bend you'll do. So, I'll show you that today. You're going to need three tools to do this with a fourth optional tool. Firstly, you'll need a pencil, you'll need a measuring tape and you'll need a heat gun. Fourth tool is optional and that is a 90 degree frame. Now you're gonna mark 10 inches apart on your pipe and that's gonna be where your 90 is going to take place. So both those lines on the outside, you're gonna circle it all the way around the pipe and that's gonna be where the back of your 90 is on each side and the middle is gonna be roughly the center of your 90. So I have my heat gun here set on level two, which is the second heat setting, the higher one. And I'm being very cautious not to burn the exterior of my pipe. And I do that by heating it up as consistently as I can, rotating the pipe back and forth about one inch above the output of this heat gun. Now the pipe will slowly start to get wobbly and a little droopy, and that's exactly the condition that we're aiming for. So I'm gonna keep rotating back and forth between my two lines, being very cautious to make sure that the heat has evenly reached everywhere between my two lines, including just outside the two lines, so that my bend takes place very evenly between these two exterior lines, not putting any pressure in any one particular spot that might cause a kink. So as it gets really wobbly, I'm gonna quickly bring it up and I'm gonna place it into my 90 degree frame here. It's really handy to have a frame because it really helps maintain that perfect bend. Now I'm actually holding this pipe just a little bit over 90 degrees, maybe around 93 degrees. And you can see that there's just a little bit of space between my frame and the outside back-to-back -back spots of my 90 degree. And that's because this pipe tends to open up a little bit as it cools off. So I'm gonna hold that for about a minute. You can use a wet rag sometimes to cool it down a little faster, but you can also just be patient and hold it in your frame. When you're done, there should be no burn marks and you'll see that my two lines are right at the back of my 90. Special thanks to my buddy Gabe for helping me film this and for the awesome technique.